Welcome back to Black Sad Game. We are a little bit progress on the investigation, but let's jump right into that. Uh, last time happened. We go to to our office to get those lockpicks and then we head back to the gym but surprisingly we go to the Yell's place so but and oh I went to content in knowing that I could finally commit my first crime break an entry at Yell's place complete with a welcoming committees they work for all Larry the illegal cookies Fam. Oh, like what? The cat broke it in. I don't say that well. Look what the cat cracked in. I prepared myself for was what was about to happen. The interrogation, the beatings. You sir, you want to us to let him go? Seriously? Just, just when we were starting to have a fun. Why? My second witness, Mary Pernell, had found Joe Dunn, Dunn's body. Unfortunately, she didn't say much else. Bobby Hill, I have seen him around. He seems like a good young boy. And Sonny Dunn, I barely know her. Seems like a smart young lady. Joe Dunn, he was a good man, but I barely know him. She doesn't know anything. Here you go, sir. Hey. <clears throat> maybe, maybe you would like to know that the day Don died, all people came out that very door. One even put a gun to my head. I remember making even more progress in the investigations. Yeah. Nothing much, but hopefully this time we something progress happened. And we stopped playing at the alley and we talking with the, the coach. Okay. Yeah, I can use the mouse too. I like the keyboard. I get used to this now. that don't see anything I think we last time looked this but I'm not sure let's go to see the dumpster he says that there was something but uh, he probably take everything already go there See that? Hey! New card! Let's continue. We don't go to see that. Nothing here. Ah, oh, what do we have? been doing now we opened the locker we talked with the gorilla he was something doing with the old Larry we don't get anything off from him let's try again okay let's ask that do you remember anything else about Joe Dunn and Bobby Yale's argument no not uh, not really no only Joe yelling if you do I'll call off the fight and kick you out of the gym Okay. Let's go away. Nothing interesting. Where else we go? We talk upstairs. We... Yeah. 
We can make the call. We don't call everyone. We can try that. Weekly Chief Officer Smirnov. I don't remember. Maybe our friends or something. Let's try. Smirnov. Joe Dunn, the boxing coach. You hear anything about his death? Like that. Is that you? You got me. How's everything, Chief? Oh, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Too much work as usual. As for Joe Dunn, he hanged himself in the story. I'm too busy, John. I can't afford to put a single man on the case. Why are you asking? Joe Dunn's daughter hired me. But I still don't get it. Any signs of foul play? I just don't get why this guy would hang himself. The gin wasn't making him rich, but one of his pupils was on the rise. Headed straight for Madison Square Garden. Well, there's more to life than business. We all have dark secrets, John. Am I right? So, are you going to help me? I wish I could, John. Anyway, I'm afraid I don't have anything useful to share. And it seems like you don't either. But, if you do find something, give me a call. We've been friends for a long time. And you think this is what two friends talk about on the phone? Good to hear from you, John. Take care. Yeah. Weekly. Weekly speaking, the legend of what's news. Hey, Weekly, this is... John, did you get my pictures? Yes, and... That right now... Oh, it's a, a photographer. Uh... And the girl, hot <laughs> damn! You want me to find out her name? Please, pretty please. No, Weekly. Look. The rhinoceros came by and offered me money to keep quiet. Wow. Are we talking petty cash or big bucks? The latter. That's my boy. Good job, Black Sad. Your boy Black Sad didn't pay mm. for money. What? Listen, weekly. Yeah, I know. It wasn't the right thing to do. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, let's, let's just change the subject. Hey, I heard something weird's going on at this gym. What was the name? Dunn's Gym. Didn't you have a pal down there? Can I talk to him? I heard a woman's running it now. A boxing gym. Now, that's what I call news. No, why not? Actually, I'm working on a case for the gym owner. I'll see what I can do, okay? I'll call you. Thanks, pal. You just made my day. Yeah, no, we don't have anything else. I just didn't talk any with anyone else. Yeah. Where we go? We need to open the, the safe. And what else? Can't do. We already looked at those. Wolf. Nothing, 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 nothing. We don't get anything from him. What? Down here. What is that? Or Sonia done. Thank you, Mr. Blackstaff. Does the postman always leave your mail on the floor? I don't know. I. What's wrong? It's... It's my mother's wedding ring. Really? I don't know. My father wore it on his pinky finger after she died. Not always, apparently. Will you find out why? I'll try. But there's something else I'm worried about. This might have something to do with... Uh, yeah, or both. Your father's death and Bobby Yale's disappearance. Oh, oh my, yes. It could be. Hmm.
been looking at. I don't remember how this worked. Oh yeah, that way. I have to zoom in. What the? What's wrong? Someone's taking pictures from the rooftop. Are you sure? I'll go take a look. Now, who's that rope for, Miss Dunn? Mm. Weekly. Huh? 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 What the hell are you doing here? Uh, oh. <laughs> hey, hey, look! Isn't that Cassidy? <laughs> Who was that? Don't change the subject, you sad little... Why don't we settle this over ice cream, huh, Judd? Just like in the good old days. <laughs> How did you get up here? I don't want anyone to see you. Okay, we have to run. Everyone, even the most hapless of creatures, has a gift. Something that makes them special, that makes them worth knowing. Foul smelling weekly is no exception. No matter what he does, it's impossible to stay mad at him for too long. Mmm. Ah, this purple shit is delicious. Want a taste? You know I don't like milk. Your loss. So, Joe Dunn hangs himself and leaves his gym to his dog, which makes her the first woman to run a boxing gym, I think. The real question is, why did he commit suicide? Well, it's pretty obvious. Is that so? Care to shed some light on this, Sherlock? Oh, there's no need to look for reasons. People hang themselves every day out of sadness. And stuff like that. End of story. I'd say he never recovered from his wife's death. But he'd recently fallen in love with another woman. Maybe he thought he was betraying his late wife. We go a different way now. What I think about. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's just a hunch. I wouldn't bet my life on it. I've got other suspects, like O'Leary, the bookmaker. Desmond O'Leary? The same O'Leary who used to date Helen Moore? America's sweetheart? Now that's a woman. And then there's the wall. Who was that guy? Come on! You've never heard of Frank Cassidy? The president of the Boxing Managers Association? Who's also stone agent? Bobby Yale's right. Hmm. He, he might, might know, know why Dunn killed, killed himself, himself, right? I decided, decided to ask Wigan to, to investigate Cassidy. Cassidy. My reasons? Yeah. Weekly was right. Cassidy, Cassidy, Cassidy could, could have been known why Dunn killed, killed himself. Weekly had already proven to be I don't like this. The farther I kept him from the gym, the better. But with Weekly, you just never know what the best approach might be. Should I give him an order? Or a subtle suggestion? Come on! I know, I know you're, you're dying, dying to ask me to investigate, investigate Cassidy. Cassidy. I can see it in your face. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. You don't, you don't even have, have to ask. ask. Consider it done. But, but you'll, you'll have, have to do me a favor. favor. Tell Sonia Dunn that a legendary journalist from What's, What's News wants an interview. Wait, 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 wait please. Well, well if, if not, bye-bye, Cassidy. Cassidy. Okay. All right. Awesome. Great. Great. Great helping us. So, was, was there really someone on the roof? There was, but it was just a friend of mine. Oh, so now your friends are spying on me. Look, I had nothing to do with it. I even got him to stop. Sure you did. Yeah, yeah, the followers. I saw you arguing with a guy named Cassidy. What did he want? Uh, remember the fight that needs to take place in order to save this gym? Well, Cassidy manages the old rival Stone, the reigning champion. If Bob doesn't show up, he'll lose money. Maybe not a lot, but enough to care. Hmm. 
nice and steady heartbeat. Okay. Big, bright eyes. Looks, Looks well rested. rested. Either, Either she, she didn't, didn't want her father, or she, she really knows how to work, work that, that makeup. makeup. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time. I'm sure we know. Do we have anything brain warps? Yes, we have. That floor showing it done. Insane. Okay. Okay. Mary put the wedding ring in the envelope and wrote Sonia down on it. But why did she have the ring in the first place? Mary. Any more? Anything else? Hey, we already do that. Do it again. Well, I know this much. The chest expander in the trash belongs to Yale. Mm hmm. Let's go to Mary. See the cleaner lady. She is. Keeping secrets. I think she know. She she have to know something. She can't be so stupid. A little bit regret that I say. The um, team owner. Who was the team owner? Team owner. Joe Dunn. Joe Dunn, I say that he kill himself because because the five I I doesn't be thinking that myself. Yeah, a little bit panic when I say like that. Hmm. Um, see you. Um, okay. Sorry. I think they're different now. See you around. We'll miss you at Sam's diner. Bye. I want to talk with her. <laughs> I don't think about that. Go back. Hi, Mr. Blackside. Uh, what can you tell about your job? Anything else about moments you found Dan's body? I want to ask about the job because last I time I don't ask. Uh, which one? Um, what about your job at the diner? Tell me about your work here in the diner. Oh, it's wonderful. I love it. My boss. Oh, glad to hear that. Yeah, hold on. How long have you worked at the gym? It's been, what, four or five years? Although, I don't think I'll be able to set foot in there again. This must be really hard for you. Yes. I'm sorry. She worked at the team five years and she doesn't know anyone. Suspicious. Anywhere else? Other than the diner and the gym, you don't work anywhere else, right? I wouldn't have the time, although I'm not sure I will continue working at the gym. Um, don't quit. If I were you, I wouldn't quit. Trust me. It might be painful at first, but time heals all wounds. Joe used to say the same thing. Maybe. I don't know. Thanks. So you know him. Have you remembered anything else about the moment you found down his body? I'm afraid not. It's too painful. I know. But we need to find him body heal. Anything, any minor detail, could really make a difference. I'll try. 
Anything else? Have you remembered anything else about the moment you found Dunn's body? I really can't remember anything. I'm sorry. Okay, see ya. Um, sorry. I think that's it for now. See you around. We'll miss you at Sam's Diner. Bye-bye. Okay, let's... Brainstorm. Mary put the ring in the envelope. Um, yep. Hmm. Were Mary Pernell and Joe Dunn an item? Yes, they was. More clues. Hey. It's her birthday. Mary's birthday, the combination to the safe. So, Joe Dunn doesn't kill himself because the five is a uh, dead five. He, he is murdered uh, because uh, he doesn't kill himself because he was love relationship with the Mary, the cleaner lady, the diner. That. Use random combination, use Sonia's date of birth. Why? Could you tell me your birthday? Of course, March 6th. And the year? I'm 24, Miss Blackstad. You do the math. No, no, look. Be happy. Think brainstorm again. Brainstorm. You have to do this first. And as we select. Okay, it's help. Hmm. See the cards. We can find the birthday. There. And there it was. Merry yep. birthday. A week prior to that birthday. And then we can open the safe. Merry birthday, you should. Yeah, Merry birthday. Ta da! Money and gun. Gun. See the file. Business insurance policy. File. Last will and testament of Joseph R. Dunn. You open the safe? Yeah, and I think you need to see this. Can you tell me what it says? Alright. I think this might be useful for the investigation, Mr. Detective. He left everything to me, except some boxing trophies and knickknacks that'll go to Bobby Yale. When was it signed? It was written four years ago. Just weeks after I moved to Buffalo. Congratulations. 
You're one lucky lady. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Do you think Bob Yale read it before he disappeared? Maybe. All right. Thanks. Gun. I never would have taken a gun for a gun. A few bucks. Just petty cash. Hmm. Okay. There. And there. More carts. There. The Mary and the Joe Dunn have a date at here at the rooftop. They keep it secret. Uh, maybe they keep it secret because the Sonia, the dad don't want to make the Sonia bad or jealous or something. What's up there? More cards? Almost three. There we go. Yes, more cards. The useless cards with what we doesn't need to anything. Ask him. Do he know more? Anything? Uh, we done. Safe. Did you know Joe Dunn had a gun in his safe? No way, man. He hated firearms. Although... When Bobby Yale was a teenager, he went through a crazy phase. Even dropped out of the gym and joined the gang. Nothing serious. Early one morning he broke in the gym. Joe was already here and caught him red-handed. Bobby pointed the gun at Dunn and ordered him to open the safe. So... Joe opened it and asked Bobby to put the gun aside, leave the gang, and start boxing again. I got here five minutes later and found Bobby crying like a baby in Joe's arms. Then he just stood up and put on his gloves. I, I can't believe that. Joe Dunn or Joey Dunn? Huh? Uh, nobody called him Joey. Well, maybe his wife. Although, she didn't call him anything after she died. <laughs> He's an asshole. I found an empty wine bottle on the rooftop. Did Joe Dunn drink? Uh, only for a while, back when his wife died. But eventually he quit. After that, he'd only drink on special occasions. Yeah. He had a date with the Mary. Racial issues. We already asked. Mind is done. I happen to know who painted the lockers. Arthur Tucker. I knew it. I knew it was him, that bastard. I'm gonna whip the white out of him. Okay, training. Maybe help you. Or, yeah, you should go to whip him. <laughs> Let's go to talk with the Mary. Mary know more than anyone else now. I know you're hiding something. What? You know what? You're the only woman who ever called Dunn Joey. Except his late wife. Oh. My goodness. I... I can't talk here. My shift is over in ten minutes. Can you wait a while? Can they get a refill over here, Mary? Coming right up. Window shopping the clocks. Mary Burnham, the angel Joe Dunn found in his golden years. We'd been seeing each other for almost two years. It all started with... 
well. Weekdays, I start cleaning the gym at dawn, before my shift at the diner. Joey always came in early, just a little after I got there. He used to say it was the best time for the worst task of the day. Oh, I know exactly what he meant. Did he help you clean? No, poor Joey. I would never have allowed that. He did more than enough. Would even clean on my days off. Paperwork. He just hated it. But that was just him. Instead of putting off the things he couldn't stand, he did them as soon as possible. One morning, he saw me crying. I was having a rough day and... He tried to make you smile. He pointed at the coffee machine. You need a cup of joe and some fresh air. That was the first of many cups on the rooftop. Which is where Don seduced you. That word is a bit too much, Mr. Blacksack. You might be too young to understand this, but real love has little to do with seduction. One day, we realized those rooftop coffees were the best part of our day, so we began to spend more time together. But you never told anyone. Why did you keep it secret? For Sonia's sake. She and Joey drifted apart after her mother's death. He was afraid that our relationship would only make matters worse. Until one day, on the rooftop, we realized just how serious our relationship was, and we decided to turn those moments into a lifetime. So, he asked you to marry him? Yes, of course. He gave me the wedding ring, and we decided to tell the world. He said he needed to share that happiness with his little girl. Turns out, he wasn't that happy after all. What about you? How did you feel about telling Sonia? Maybe you already noticed. I, I have a slight cold. I really should be heading home. Thanks for sharing all that with me. Take care. I lost my scarf a while back. Not sure where. And now, if you'll excuse me, that's my best stop. A pleasure to speak with you, Mr. Blackhead. Hmm. He lost the scarf somewhere. Try to find the scarf. Go away. Let's go to here. The goat man. Can't find anything from the dumpster. He maybe have it, the scarf. Wait, it's here. No. And he's behind this corner. Look at him more. Do you remember anything else about the day you found the thingamajig with the springs and the paint can? Yeah. No. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Well, no, now that I think of it, uh, no. Thank you. Hey, pal. How about thanking a good looking goat with a cigarette? <laughs> yes, you can have it. <laughs> Nasty cough. I don't think that's a good idea. You've got one nasty cough. Oh, come on. You know, cigarettes have lots of very healthy problems. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Oh, come on. It's just a smoke, lady. No. I don't want to make it. You don't want what? What?
Yeah, you think you're not responsible for my pathetic state? Think you're not to blame? It's the government that shipped me off to war. They shipped me off too. Oh, right. So then you know what it's like to kill too. Well, then another sad hobo shouldn't be a problem for you, Professor. Yeah, I kill people. And yet, you don't want to help me die. Wait, wait, wait. But, uh, that's not what I wanted to say. No, oh, well, you know we ghosts tend to jump from one thing to another. <laughs> The government paid for everything. Army fatigues, rations, weapons, lodging, hookers, drugs. Do you know where that money comes from? <laughs> taxes! Your taxes, my dear friend. You help them cut my legs. <laughs> Okay. Well, ever since they get so that weapon industry that finances their campaign get gets richer and, and richer and richer, and that's how we finance their wars. So the slightest connection with corruption turns us into accomplices, unless. One manages to keep an arm's leg. <sighs> that is what I did, my loyal disciple, at the Million Star Hotel. <laughs> so, do like your master, the Grey. Hey, what's, what's your name? name? You never you told, told me. me. <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay. I think we have played enough this and like we start the game, we end the game to the alley with the goat man. So have a good weekend. See you at next. Bye.